younger, I used to say hey man a lot in general conversation and my friends started calling me hey man and the road that I grew up on was Reed Road. It's kind of like a poor name almost. <laughs> hey man Reed. And then I messed with the spelling. I want to introduce the band to you guys. This is Diane Yee on the violin. Well, I was classically trained and um, I've played in a lot of orchestras and small ensembles. I guess it's a different experience. It's more intimate, it's a small group. Stefano Di Lorenzo on the drums. <laughs> was raised as a jazz drummer, got classical training in school and uh, played in one band for a few months. It was mostly like electronic kind of music and they were from Brooklyn so and then I joined Heyman Reed in February. Chris Agar on the bass. Um, I was uh, ch jazz trained and um, I worked on cruise ships the past four years so I I've played in orchestras, and currently in New York City, I play in multiple groups, not just uh, Henry. All right, going on the guitar. Hi, Jeff. We are Henry. Come up to us after the show. Say hi. We will not come up to you. We are too shy. <laughs> Welcome to the world. It is your world. So get up when you fall down. You're all you've got to so stand your ground and worship what you love if you want to make some real sound. I suppose Stefano is the longest member. Uh, Stefano told Diane about us. I found Chris on Craigslist. Not just for creepy, you know. <laughs> we, we were planning to meet up for one of those one night encounters <laughs> and it turned out to be a long term relationship. <laughs> Performing music when you're in performing art and you're on stage or even rehearsing, the connection that you get with the fellow musicians on stage uh, is one of the most intimate connections you can make as a human being. And to share that with an audience as well, it's really, it's the best drug ever. Uh, uh, a lot of the stuff we play uh, is very soft. A lot of the stuff we play is very heavy. I suppose uh, progressive would probably be the best way to describe it. A lot of the audience says that The Smoke is probably one of the better ones. Um, Phantom in the Sky. Is a, it's a marijuana anthem, and they seem to relate to that pretty well. The began as a man with a plan to ban the plant as a means to control the Mexicans. Harry J. Anslinger, Marijuana Tax Act, August 2nd, 1937. Do some research, find out how stupid your Congress is allowed to be. Thousands of years and millions of cultures ignored to bring on more <laughs> ignorance to your door. When we're not gigging multiple times a week, uh, we like to rehearse once a week. And then I think it goes... Um... And then B flat nine. Yeah, when, when, you know, sometimes when I write, I don't even remember writing it. You know, I realize I get to the to having the song there, and I'm like, how the hell did I come up with this? Like, I don't remember. I come up with a melody, and I, I try to stick to that melody. It, I don't think it's ever stuck to the first melody that I come up with. It ends up becoming something a little bit different, and then I start to add lyrics to it, and it just keeps changing. And I think it starts to build itself, the concept, as far as the lyrics go. support me is by not talking about it. They don't uh, they don't tell me not to do it. 
So, but I think that is supportive in its own way. Not to worry. Life's about change. Either you get it or you don't. Either way, you'll end up some sort of deranged. I think, I think a big message for artists is just uh, keep doing it. Um, you know, if you believe in it, you believe in it, and don't really listen to the people that don't believe in it. Uh, give it 100%, and you know, don't let things bring you down. If I can add something, I would say, you know, to artists to support uh, other artists. Uh, you know, rather than rather than lock yourself in you know in your own little world, you know, go out to shows, go to exhibitions, you know, and collaborate with other people. You know, they're, they're, nowadays, you know, with with uh, with technology and everything, I feel like multimedia stuff is can become really big, and you know, and you can come up with a new art and go to shows, and you know, that's. Uh, we are, you know, no one else better than you can understand us. Thank you, we are Haven Reed. Good night.